Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel, So Fast I Young. Today we're going to do another installment of my sewing, with my sewing library basically. Um, and specifically sort of flat patterning books I want to talk about. Um, so this one right here was my very first flat patterning book. We'll, st we'll start here. Um, this is a th the third edition of the Norm Macdonald book. Um, if you want a current edition, they run somewhere around 100-ish, 125, depending on where exactly you're looking. But um, this third edition one I found easily online for like 25 bucks. Um, I had this one. I've had this one since college. It was for one of my classes. Uh, it's all about flat patterning. It's a great introduction and overview to flat patterning, taking a sloper and teaching you how to manipulate the basic pieces of a sloper um, to create a pattern. It even comes with, here, let me show you. One of the things I really love about it is it even comes with little mini, like, sloper patterns um, for you to sort of use as, I believe these are half sizes. I don't remember if it specifies somewhere in there exactly what size they are or if they are just a, a sort of generic mid-size, but um, it does, you know, give you the ability to work with different pieces and learn how to manipulate them. So you can work, most of the patterning that I did in the class that I bought this book for was all done on half size flat patterns. So we did everything in little mini half size mock-ups, which is really a nice way to like start learning how to flat pattern. You're not wasting tons of fabric. Um, you're just working with, you know, your basic uh, paper sized sheets for most of what you're doing and learning how to slash and spread. So it's really cool. I love it. Um, it's very useful. I still like make photocopies of these sometimes just so that I have the originals and um, kind of do mock up test runs to see if what I am planning will work the way I want it. Um, so yeah, this one's a great little book. It doesn't go as into detail as uh, this book over here, but, you know, for an introduction, it's a good one. And you can get a used copy of it a little bit cheaper. Um, but yeah, so you've got all of your different ways to flat pattern. And this, so this will basically teach you how to manipulate. Um, it'll, I think it also will teach you, it'll teach you how to manipulate your flat pattern, like on a table, and it'll teach you a couple different ways. There's ways where you rotate, like you, 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 there's certain points on the pattern that you will like pin in place and then you rotate and make your adjustments through there. There's also methods where you cut things apart and slash and spread. So it just kind of depends on uh, what works best in your brain, I feel like sometimes. Like sometimes, it was really funny in class, there were some people who were really great with using the slash and spread method and then other people were really good with like the rotation method and um, understanding it. So sometimes it's just about learning what your brain comprehends better. Um, as to how to manipulate your pattern and your fabric. So, like I said, very good, excellent introduction book. If you want something a little more comprehensive, this is The Pattern Making for Fashion Design um, by Helen Joseph Armstrong. Oh, this is Norma McDonald. This is Helen Joseph Armstrong. Um, this one is more often used as a textbook in actual fashion design classes and so therefore it's a little more expensive this one I believe this is the fourth edition they're currently on the fifth edition um the fifth edition I think runs like 130 something new uh depending on what you want to get they do have like paperback editions and um like pdf editions I actually own I own a pdf um like a amazon ebook basically of the fifth edition because I needed I needed it for reference on my phone very quickly <laughs> and didn't have this uh, on hand. Um, I was actually really lucky. I found this copy brand new, unopened, like still literally in the wrapping um, for like 25 bucks at a used bookstore one day in California. And I was just like, uh, because I think usually I looked it up and usually even used these still go for like 80 uh, because they are very comprehensive on the what they cover. Um, this one has, obviously, it's much, is much heftier than this one. It goes more into apparel development, costing out things, stuff like that. Um, it goes into a few 
like further types of pattern manipulation than this does. Like there's some stuff in the back that talks about like, swimwear and stretches and other stuff that I don't think is as covered fully in here as in here. So you definitely do not need to own both of these. Um, Again, it kind of depends on what you're going to do. If you're going to, if you want to do a lot of basic dresses and stuff, this one's great. And this one has a bit more detailed information. Goes a little bit farther. Or if you do want to get into any sort of sales or stuff, like it does, kind of have some good explanations of things like, like this section is about buttonholes and buttons and different sizes and whatnot. And um, I know that it also has like leotards and stuff, which I don't think are covered in there. So it's got, um, and so it's got like a swimwear section. This has some more information on, um, not a lot of information, but it has some more information on children's and men's wear that that one doesn't have. Um, I'm trying to think. I know that there's stuff about, like I said, costing out supplies and whatnot in here. So yeah, um, it also comes with, in the very back, uh, sleeve sections. Oh, it comes with cost sheets. That was the other thing that I thought was kind of cool. So it helps you, like, you can make pattern records. It has information about making cost sheets, different measurement charts, stuff like that. Um, it has, like, uh, conversion tables and whatnot. All sorts of other information. I think it has a standard, like, body size chart, stuff like that. So, you know, if you're looking to get into flat patterning, one of these is a great place to start. You absolutely do not need the most current edition. Um, like I said, this one is on the fifth edition. This one I believe is on the fourth. This is the fourth edition. This is the third edition cover. Um, getting them used is perfectly fine. I mean, especially because a lot of this is used, a lot of the basics of flat patterning is the same and isn't going to change. A lot of what's covered in this book and this book are also the same information. So that's why like, you don't need both. You can pick one. Like I said, there's pros and cons to both. Um, this one's much smaller, probably cheaper. This one has more information um, for different applications than this one does. So lots of things to think about. You're not going to go wrong getting either one, probably, um, uh, especially if you're just starting to get into flat patterning. I really love them both. Um, and I'm kind of glad that, like, I'm kind of glad that I own them both. I wouldn't have if it wasn't for the fact that I got this super cheap. Um, and this one, like I said, was literally for class, so I had to buy this. And I was happy with this one for the longest time. I just, sometimes you come across a deal and you can't pass it up because when you find this book for $25, you're like, yes, that is now mine. Um, so, and because I like to kind of add some fun things in when I'm doing these book reviews, these are two books that are really super cool. Um, I will absolutely butcher this name. Uh, Tomoko Nakamichi? Oh, maybe I won't butcher it. I don't know. Um, anyways, these pattern magic books are super cool. Um, and they're not really to teach you how to pattern in the same way that those are, but they are. They do show you really cool ways of manipulating patterns in fun, different methods. Um, and that's part of why I love them. So you like, they, like it breaks down how you would manipulate your pattern to be able to cut and so this, these different fun things. Um, there's actually a third one that I don't own yet, and I really want it. Like, this one has these cool, like, sections that, like, go in. Um, and then it shows you how to make, how they made this pattern and everything. Like, it's really, really spiffy and cool if you enjoy fabric manipulation and pattern manipulation and want to do cool style lines and stuff and not just your basic stuff that you see um, every day. And that's one of the things I really love, like... I miss, I miss really cool style lines that used to be part of um, fashion in the like earlier decades and whatnot. Um, I just, I think that like stuff has become, we want to sew it quick and cheap and easy and like, I don't know, like it's really cool. Like how fun would it be to incorporate interesting visuals into garments? Um, I really love that sort of stuff. Like, like look at this. I don't know. It's just pretty cool. So, great books. Um, these ones, I think, run somewhere between 20 and 25 a piece when you're looking for them. Um, like I said, I think there, I believe there's at least a third one out there. 
Um, and if you really like, if you get into pattern drafting and you really like pattern manipulation and want to be able to make like weird, cool stuff, I feel like these are great sort of references to have on top of your basic pattern manipulation books. So, um, this is probably by no means all of the books that I have on patterning. I kind of wanted to keep it specifically to just a few basic ones and then like I said these kind of interesting ones. Um, I probably will do another series at some point over some of the historical patterning books I have and whatnot. I own a lot of books. They're kind of stashed in different places right now um, because I don't have enough shelf room for all of them. I've got some in boxes under a bed, some in boxes in a closet, you know. Anyways, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed my little rundown of my pattern books that I own, and um, as always, please, if you liked my video, hit the button, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Um, I have a Kofi account and other social media accounts linked in the description box as well as on my main page. Um, I do a lot of stuff on my Tumblr, just kind of reblogging cool things as well as uh, some of my own stuff that I've done and really should check it out. Um, it's been a really rough year, so all the support uh, that you guys give me just really helps make my day and my week. And even even on weeks like this when I was really having a hard time um, finding motivation to make videos, like knowing that there's people out there that actually like what I do and my content really helps. So I love you all. Have a good week.